Hello, IT pros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill. As you can see, we are in my desktop computer again, like most of my videos. And this is the third part in the series, and it's the last one as well. So this is my channel, my IT workshop. And in the last, I would say, three videos, because this is the basic ones for TK Inter. And in these two, we have been coding an app, right? So in this one, we are going to make a few more changes and then we are going to turn the, um, our um, Python script, Python code into an executable file for Windows. So the, uh, I'm going to open Python. So this is the code we have been working on. I haven't changed anything. And if you scroll down, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to run it. So run module, I'm going to bring it from the other screen and it looks like this. So as you can see, it's doing its job. Get computer name, get serial number, get username, right? It's doing all that. But as you can see, the, the buttons look uh, different in size, even though they have the same, um, the same values. So we're going to try to make it a little um, better looking. So I'm going to close this. We go down and these are the variables. So the path Y and path X, path X is the width, and path Y is the height. So they all have the same values, except this one. <laughs> and, uh, well, let's run it again. Run module, save it. And it looks kind of the same, right? It's still kind of, uh, it has different sizes. Now we have to change, as you can see, the, the height, uh, it doesn't need any change. Uh, only the width. And the reason is because uh, their get computer name has more letters than, let's say, get IP address. And get serial number has more letters than get IP address or get username. So we have to make that kind of fit. So Python um, TK Inter takes that into consideration. So you have to play with path X for all the buttons. And I have already played with them, so you don't have to look me play with them so I know the values. So. I was just playing with them to see which one is the one that fits the best. So these are the values I found after playing for a few minutes and I'm going to run it again. I save it and now it looks way better, right? They, they, I mean, there is kind of a difference between get computer name and get IP address, but it's almost negligible. So now they look better. Uh, now I'm going to click and get serial number. I have a serial number, as you know, this computer I built it myself. That's why we don't see a number like if you would see if you were on a Dell, HP, Lenovo or any other brand. So get username, Alvin Drill, my name, get computer name, this computer. Now we're going to click on get IP address. And as you can see, it's not giving us the default gateway. And if you remember in the last video, when we click on this, it gave us the right IP address, right? And if you compare the last video with this IP address, it's different. This one is 172, 72, the other is 190, 192. So why is this happening? And I mentioned this in my first video of the series of TK Inter. I don't remember which one, but I, I remember I mentioned it. And this is because when you have virtual machines, uh, it's going to create virtual interfaces. So I'm going to close all of this and I'm just going to show you that. So if you go to control panel, network and internet, network connection, or just here you click, you, you look for network, uh, you are going to come to this site. So these are all your interfaces that you have. And like I mentioned, if you have virtual machines, uh, you're going to create more virtual interfaces. So I installed some software in the last week. And because of that, it has created this virtual ethernet, Hyper-V virtual ethernet adapter. So this one is on. That's why it's giving us the wrong IP address. So if I uh, disable this one, as you can see, it's disabled now, it's grayed out. I go back, I run it again, run module, and get username, I have the same, all, everything is working, get IP address. Now it's giving me the IP address, the one that I use in my local network at home. So the way to notice that is because the other was not giving us the default gateway. And if you don't have a default gateway, you cannot connect to another networks or you cannot go uh, to the internet. Okay, so that's why you notice. If you don't have the gateway, something is going on. Most likely, I'm not going to say is the only reason, but most likely you have a virtual interface for whatever reason, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, now that this, this is working, as you can see it now, uh, we are going to turn this um, piece of code, this Python piece of code into an ex executable file for Windows. So you don't have to have 
Python install. If you want to share it with somebody else, you don't need to have the libraries. You don't need to have anything. So I'm going to close this. And the first thing, and I mentioned it, I'm going to close this because we don't need it anymore. I mentioned this in my first videos in the series. Where is it? Um, over here, uh, how to SSH to a Cisco device using Python. So I made many, well, I don't know if there are many, but some scripts for automation. I use with, uh, I mean, uh, where I work, um, I use Cisco most of the time. So I, I decided just to automate some things. And again, the video for that is in the video description below. But I forgot to mention, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. So now, what we are going to to do? Oh, and what I was talking about, I mentioned about how to install some libraries in in Python in this video over here, but I'm going to do it again very shortly. So as of today, the latest version of Win of Python is 3.8.5. So I'm going to double click on it. I just downloaded it from the Python website, and when you install Python, I mentioned that in that video, you have to click this add Python 3.0 or whatever version you may have to path. If you don't, don't do that, you cannot do what we're going to do. You, can, you will not be able to do the next step, okay? So you have to select this one and then install it. I'm not going to do it because I already have it, so I'm going to close this, okay? So then you go to, uh, you open a CMD in Windows and you have typed the command pip to install software py install installer so if you don't click if you don't check that box in when you're installing python when you click when you press enter for this command it's going to give you an error in this case uh, it's not giving me an error it's telling me requirement already satisfied that means that i have already installed this um what do you call it a library py installer i have I, I already have it that's why it's not allowing me to do it again but if you don't have it uh, and either you are going to have an error because you haven't added the path when you're installing um, uh, python or um, what other error could be uh, you t you type the command wrong all right so if everything is okay you're going to see a small uh, short um, installation process less than 10 seconds so we have that by the way i use as you know i use this python the one from the website because it's the easiest one to install you can also use this one with with this pycharm 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 i don't know how to pronounce it and this is really great okay but it, the installation is not complicated but a little more time consuming so for example i was doing kind of a game trying to do a game here as you can see here, I'm moving the rocket on the bottom and the alien, the alien there is moving on its own. So maybe someday if I finish it, I'm going to share it with you. I just want to show you that there are many ways to do it. But in this case, for me, this is um, easier. So now that you have everything installed, you have to know where your script is. So where is Python? It's over here. And as you can see here, this is the entire path where it is installed. For you, it might be different. Well, it's going to be different, I'm sure. Uh, so what we have to do is open. I'm going just to copy this like that. Copy, I'm going to close it. I go to CMD, and now we have to go to that folder. CD, normally I, I, I use quotation marks, and I copy paste it, enter. Now I need the name of the file. As you can see here, it's called build an app for YT, which is YouTube. I'm going to where this is the one. So I'm going to kind of just get the name, uh, rename. I'm going to copy the name. I don't need this anymore. I'm going to open it. And now comes the command to actually turn it into an executable file. So, uh, so it's py installer um, dash dash <laughs> what do you call that one file and now the name of the file as you know it's called um, build an app for YouTube that py that's the extension py so enter and as you can see it's doing it so while we wait this is a good time for you to remind you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. 
So now, as you can see, it takes a few seconds, less than, less than 10 seconds. So it says here, building exe from exe, blah, 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 completed successfully. So we don't, well, maybe I need this, I'm going to copy it, but not all. From, come on, come on, from here to here, I need this. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to the folder itself. So I come here, I'm going to copy paste it. And now it has created these three folders. Okay, every time you turn or you convert um, a, a Python script, a Python piece of code into an executable is going to create there is these three five folders in the um, directory, in the folder where your script is. In this case, as you can see, this is my script. And in the same folder, it has created these three folders. And this, yeah, in the same path, in the same directory, it has created these three folders. This built and pi cache. The one we are interested in is this. So this is the one. So I'm going to close everything, guys. I'm going to close this one. What, what else do I need to close? Oh, everything is closed already, <laughs> okay. Let me make this a little smaller because it's only one file. So I'm going to double click. No, no, I'm not going to double click. I'm going to drag and drop to my desktop. So I'm going to close this. And this is the executable file. If I double click on it, uh, not double click, right click on it, I go uh, to properties and it says application.exe. So I don't need to have Python open. As you have seen, I have closed it. I'm going to close this, this one as well. Exit, yeah. And I'm just going to double click on this guy. Double click. It's going to open in my other uh, monitor. Let me allow me a few seconds. And this is how it looks. So it, given a, it, it is giving us the same information, obviously. All that is the same, but we don't need the Python, let's say, GUI. No, not, it's not GUI. The, the Python IDE for us to run this. It's not, a, if you will, a script anymore. It's an executable file. What is the caveat? Every time you open it, it's going to open this uh, CMD-like window. So if you try to close it, it's going to close everything, okay? So that's the only caveat I, uh, I see for when you do this conversion, it looks like this. You have everything, but from now you can share it, you can send it in an email. The other person doesn't need to have Python install or any libraries, they only need the exe file like this one. You double click and that's pretty much it. So uh, if I close any of these, everything is going to close. I double click on, the, on this again, properties, and as you can see, it's like seven megabytes. And if if you remember a few minutes ago, when we check, when we, when we were opening the script on Python, it was like 3K. So all this is for the script to be able to run in Windows so to be an executable file. So that's how it is. So it's kind of, it grows a lot. That's what I'm trying to say. So that would end uh, our uh, our TK Inter project. I'm going to do uh, a small game, a very basic game in TK Inter as well in the next two videos. So it's, it's a very basic game. Maybe it's super basic. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So if you like that, um, like this video and subscribe because it's going it's coming in the next days okay so thank you very much for watching guys if you like this video if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave them in the comment section below and as always i'll see you in the next project